Good morning, listeners. You are listening to Zamcom Community Radio Station. Today, we will be hearing from all the partners working to end child marriage in Zambia. My name is Miriam. I have 17 years old. Bambi, the body of Vuti Kavanzanga, men, the poor and a man, and a Vuti come of Quatu Mumera did his sewing and Kaona so in Veram Tim. girls that risk getting into the early marriages. Mm -hmm. So what Population Council is doing currently in Zambia is we're running an adolescent girls empowerment program through safe spaces which is where girls come together mm -hmm. in weekly groups. Mm -hmm. They build a network amongst the girls who are in that group. They have a female mentor who leads the session each week. <laughs> I'm going to the safe space. <laughs> I think safe space The girls never used to value themselves. They used to think that a boy was more of a value than the girl. But now they know that a boy and a girl are the same. I'm program coordinator for Population Council and I'm monitoring safe spaces to find out if there are any challenges that they are facing. What has been done differently in Zambia is that the government worked with the people who are affected by this practice. And so when programs are planned, they work well because the information came from the grassroots. We are trying to change parents' attitudes towards early marriages by holding uh, community sensitization meetings. So today we've decided to go to Chief Shakungila's palace because most of the information that the community has goes through the chief first. And the dissemination of information is what will help to change parents' attitudes. You know, the prevention of early marriages is one of our duties as traditional leaders countrywide. So we have to put our hands together so that we see that this program is fully implemented. Because one single hand cannot implement unless you join two hands. I think our challenge has been that each time we've called meetings of the parents and other community members about the dangers of marrying off their children early, we've had low turnouts. And you know, a, a, a headman is better placed than us because he's the one leading a community 
where these problems are. So once we address the head demand, the, the, the program will be taken correctly. These are the people who should be used to implement that program. They will make sure that no early managers happen in that village. So tomorrow I am meeting all my sub headmen. We have to tell them the disadvantages of early marriages. I have to talk to them at length and strongly. Whereby as they go back to their villages, they will call their subjects and it will be very easy for them to change their subjects' minds. We know that when a child is married early, it means they drop out of school. And the triple effects that comes with that is so major, it means we go on with a cycle of poverty in this country. Because my parents school Now, as I'm going to say that, I'm going to show on to. I'm going to give it. What I'm going to say is that I'm going to show on to. 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 There are two things that are happening in partnership with the Ministry of Community, Mother and Child Health. They have introduced what is called a social cash transfer. So the parents who, who are vulnerable, the grandparents who have children like that, are given money every month end so that they are able to support the children, ensuring that the girl child remains in school. Yes. I have said many times when I've been asked that in Zambia there's no such a thing that the best place to do this work is the civil society, or the best place to do this are the young people, or the best place is government. I think all of us together, as a collective entity, will solve this problem. So go on, Kasiza School, and Flan Kankare Doctor. Bakuti the Mayazari ten, Mizo and Amonga and Zankara, Muntuo Tandiza and Tuan Bidi, and Kakwansa Tandiza Zikodi. Girls Not Brides was created to end, actually end child marriages. This is a partnership over 400 members all over the world. So some of the lessons that the Zambian group is doing can be also replicated in the other countries so that we end child marriages. <laughs> from the representatives of all levels of Zambian society and the great work they are doing to combat child marriage. If we all continue to work together, then perhaps we can put an end to child marriage once and for all.